a number of times you hear this term declarative or declarative configuration and this is often used in the context of Terraform and Kubernetes. What does that mean? Let's consider an example. Let's say the current state is I have five instances of a specific microservice and the desired state is I would want to have 15 instances. So currently I have five and I would want to increase it to 15. So that's what I would want to be able to do. So there are two styles in which you can tell this. You can either use an imperative style. In imperative style, you give command. Right now there are five, so I'll give a command saying add 10 instances. This is imperative. I need to know what is the current state and then give an imperative command and then it would go to 15 instances. The other option is the declarative style. In declarative style, what you do is you'd specify the end state only. You tell the tool that I want 15 instances at the end. And what the tool does, it goes and checks the current state. It sees that there are five instances and it increases them up to 15. So it adds 10 instances. The tool takes the decision to add 10 more instances. And this is what is called a declarative approach. In a declarative approach, you would specify the end state that you would want. For example, you are making use of Kubernetes and you are creating a declarative configuration YAML file. You would say, I want 15 instances in production. That's what you would say. You would not worry about how many instances are currently live. It might be five or four or three. You don't worry about it. At the end, you want 15 instances and that's what you tell. And once Kubernetes sees that you want 15 instances, then it checks the current state. It identifies what's the difference between the actual state and the desired state or the final state that I would want. And it makes sure that it, the differences are implemented or the commands that are needed to execute the difference or to implement the difference are done by Kubernetes. This is exactly how Terraform also works. With Terraform, you use something called HCL, HashiCorp control language, and you'd specify all your instructions in there. And you'd specify what is the final desired state. And Terraform would compare the actual state, whatever is the current state in the infrastructure with the desired state, and it would identify the differences and it would apply the differences. So understanding the term declarative is very, very important and it's very, very simple. It's about specifying the end state you would want and not specifying the actions that are needed to go to the end state.